What is the impact on families? What was the impact on families? And can you name a few families that had serious impact on them in the Ravonia trial? Um, I'm thinking of um, Karen, Karen, Karen. Caroline. 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 Yes, one's my lady. Uh, yeah. She was arrested. I'm not, but I'm not really sure whether she was involved in the struggle or she was arrested just because she, I mean, she, she was, was married to um, Ellis. I don't know her story, but I don't know. She was, I know when she was arrested. Was she found guilty of anything? No, right? If you read the leaflet um, that was distributed on the streets in England, it explained that where, where, she, where was she arrested? In court. And how many children did she have? Seven, Seven children. Mm. She was breastfeeding one. She was breastfeeding one. Yeah. So, and how long was she kept in jail? 90 days and renewed for 90 days. And the pain of it was that her husband was on trial and she didn't know what was happening in the trial. And she couldn't see lawyers, she couldn't see anyone. Right? So, that's one family. Name another family. That's an easy one. The Mandela <laughs> family, right? Uh, who's seen Long Walk to Freedom? Remember, we discussed it last time. When you see the pain of, when, that, of the stuff Winnie Mandela went through. Name another family. Sisulu. Sisulu. I think his wife was also arrested. Exactly. The Sisulu's, Sisulu, the Sisulu family. Um, so the, the families of the people in the trial suffered and they did it to punish the family and to punish the accused, to punish uh, people who were activists. Remember we discussed the case of Angie, uh, Angie, Peter. Angie Peter, do you remember that? Um, no, you weren't here, but so you, weren't, you, you were here, but yeah, uh, you weren't here when we discussed it. Um, so this, there was serious impact on families. I want to tell you the story. You, you all will know that I have no sympathy for Thabo Mbeki today. But if you think of his history, it's very different. Um, he never saw his father for many years because his father had to work elsewhere. His mother uh, looked, after, looked after them. His mother was active in politics before his father. His mother recruited his father to the Communist Party, right? Mm -hmm. And she was a hardline communist and a feminist. Um, what's that? No, just feminist. feminist. Yeah, she was hardline. And uh, <coughs> when his father went to jail, it took how many more years for him to see his father? He was young, he must have been 18, 19, 20, when his father went to jail. And then he saw his father 27 years later, because he was in exile. So it's not only the wives, but it's also how the children suffer. Mm -hmm. And you imagine you are separated from, from your children for so long. That connection the child will, even if the child is proud about you for what you're doing, the child will always feel you weren't a good father or mother. Exactly. Right? So that child will always have that pain inside. And the parent will always feel guilty. I've done good in the struggle, but I haven't good, been good to my family. So there's a psychological impact that one must never forget when you do politics. Never forget that. Like many of you, you're going to spend many times away from your family. Right? When you go to EE camps over weekends, you don't see your family. You enjoy yourself. But, yeah, those who work. Right? Those who, but, uh, do you have any one of you have children here? Yes. Right? Imagine when you go to camp, can you take your child with? No. You should demand child care there. <laughs> you must ask for child care. Right? 
Yeah. So the important thing is, the important thing is to remember that you have to try and spend as much time as you can with your family in a nice way. Um, and that was a difficult thing that families went through. But we must learn from it.